Hi, we'll start by looking at the M3000 cradle. As you can see, it can be adjusted into a V shape with some fold down flaps which hold it in that position. It can also be opened wide, so this will allow for uh, wide books, thick books with a thick binding to be supported. So here's a encyclopedia that we're going to use. And I'm just laying that on the cradle, positioning it. Okay, let's switch to the software. Now the software, um, we're using a 20 million pixel camera, but you can select the other uh, resolutions of the camera. You can also define the DPI that you're going to scan into. The format, JPEG, and whether you're using a high, medium, or low compression. And the type of pages you're working with, i.e. left to right or right to left. As well as what frequency your electricity supply is on. Okay, with those set, we'll go into the scan dialog. And I'm using the webcam just to give an overview as well. Um, if I click on the bottom here, it takes a, an image. And you see at the top right here, one image scanned. Um, I'm currently scanning in grayscale mode, as you can see, but there are other options. And we're using the curved and dual page option as well, because clearly it's a book. Okay, let's uh, we'll turn the page, and there's also a foot pedal here, so I'm clicking that with my foot now. You may, in the overview uh, image, see the fine lines, the red lines, which detect the curvature of the page. So if you look on the webcam picture, as I click, you'll see on the black some red lines. Uh, you're not seeing it on the actual screen grab um, because the, uh, the system doesn't show it. Um, okay, what else do we have here? We've got the uh, exposure setting. I can lighten it, darken it, uh, but typically the auto works pretty well um, for most settings and will compensate for lighter or darker environments that you're working in. Uh, okay, I'm trying to flatten the pages out so that uh, we minimize the curvature. It's not always possible, I know, and I'll show you some um, alternatives um, shortly. Now, at the moment, this is processing. It's processed three of the four pages. It's doing all the curve correction, the flattening as we work. And here you go, here are the results. So they split the, the dual pages into single pages. They're in grayscale, and I can just flick through them now. And you can see the uh, the results. Now, although we did scan in grayscale, we can actually here click on any of the other options uh, to change the page. So, if, for example, you had a color page amongst all the uh, the black and white pages, you could just come here and turn that page back into into color. Uh, shading, uh, uh, seal, which is a spot color type processing. You see the the quality there as I zoomed in. Um, or typically uh, a binary, which is purely black and white, not so good for photos or diagrams, but certainly gives a, a good result, as you can see here on the text quality. Okay, some simple commands at the bottom here for navigating around. Uh, we'll go back here to grayscale. Now, it may well be that this left hand page, um, the edge of the page, hasn't really been processed correctly. So we do have the ability to go into the curve correction tool and make adjustments. So this green line is the, uh, the center of the book. We can draw the blue lines, which are the curve um, correction uh, tools that it's using. Um, here you can click on any of the blue nodes and, and readjust it. Um, you can slide those around so that they follow the uh, the red lines that are underneath, and this is what generates the the curve correction. So you can delete the blue lines altogether. You can redraw the lines correctly. Um, okay, now these pages don't lie exactly flat, as you can see from the original image here. Uh, you've got the pages behind them which can uh, again affect the, the detection, but yeah, that's improved it slightly. So, uh, and of course you can always crop the whole page, which I'll show you later. 
Having scanned a number of pages, we can then archive them into a PDF or a searchable PDF. We can OCR them just to a text file. Um, you need to first select the images, so we can just select all, and then we can run the OCR engine. Now, it has quite an extensive list of languages that it supports. I'll just browse down here through the list just so you get a, a brief idea, and you might quickly be able to see the language that uh, uh, you're needing to use. But we're using English. Uh, select the location that we're going to scan into, and I'll put these into the folder where they were captured into. Give the uh, the PDF a name. So this is going to be a, a searchable PDF. Just take um, um, a minute or two to go through. Clearly here I've only got uh, eight pages. Uh, so with a, with a larger book, you have to decide whether it's appropriate to uh, do the OCRing um, on the on this system or whether you're going to use an external OCR engine or you schedule the, your workload so that the uh, um, the time it takes isn't going to impact a great deal okay so we can open the folder here's the PDF And this should be um, searchable now. I'm just going to make sure we're viewing it correctly into your page. Yeah, you can see a little bit of skew on that first page. Um, if we zoom in though, this text should all be pretty legible. And if I try to select it, you can see here that it's now selectable text. Uh, let's just put a search in here and see if it can find the occurrences of, of a word. And uh, oops, let's just go back and zoom in it. So, yeah, and, okay, more, more, more. So, pretty, pretty good OCRing, pretty good text recognition. Okay, Let's, uh, come out of there. I'm back here. Um, right, what we can now do is the book um, should be return named uh, batch. Uh, we can do a batch delete here. Let's just get rid of those those images. Okay, what I'm going to show now is using the um, thumb removal tool. So basically, the system comes with some. Um, thimbles that you can put over your thumbs and it will allow you to hold the pages flat and hopefully the thumbs are not captured in the image so again using my using the foot pedal if you look in the uh, the webcam view um, as I'm holding the page you'll see some red lines these red lines are the ones you saw when we were doing the curve correction and uh, it's what's used to help flatten the page so that you get a, um, a decent image. So I'll just do um, a few pages here so you just get the idea and then we'll take a look at uh, how they are processed and uh, what they look like. Now again there is this uh, slight delay as you can see on the top right there it's uh, process one page so okay now two um, and then hopefully in a second the third page Okay, we should be able to close that now and go back to the images and let's take a look at them now. Now that certainly looks better. These pages look um, squarer. So just by holding the page down, uh, oh, and the clever thing is, of course, you can't see my thumbs. Oh, a tiny little bit there, uh, but, but pretty good. And just to prove it, there you go. This is the original image and there's the, uh, the correction curves that we used. So definitely an improvement using the, uh, the thimbles. 
uh, we can adjust the images as you just see me do here I've just gone into um, an adjustment typically this is just a straightforward contrast adjustment um, we can adjust the background uh, and the, the foreground um, so this is like a white point and black point setting uh, not a lot you can see on the uh, on that one again terminology a little bit uh, strange but uh, black point white point so again here the thickness is looking at the uh, textual data and as you can see not so much affecting the background but affecting the the text data okay so what we're going to do again is I'll OCR these as well just as we did before pick our language let's be uh, creative here call it sample one and just wait for that to to do so I'm showing you here using the uh, double page and uh, splitting the pages um, into two um, as I say once you've done the scanning um, you can change particular uh, format whether it's color black and white shading etc um, so this will enable you to scan a predominantly a, say a black and white book uh, that has the odd um, insert that might be a, an illustration or photo so you could switch that to grayscale or color whichever is appropriate um, but this can also be used as a straightforward flatbed scanner and uh, also you can capture double pages which I'll show you in a second so okay here's the the second OCR -ing. the pages look a lot better just holding the uh, uh, the pages down with the thimbles has improved the uh, the appearance uh, but the image quality was, would still be the same so again once again I'll just um, grab a, a section and maybe paste that into a notepad so you can see what it looks like you know this uh, is quite an old encyclopedia um, and some of the text isn't uh, so brilliant but it's, it's done a pretty good job won't be perfect but it, it'll be uh, certainly um, very legible okay I don't need to save that so although you're seeing two pages they are individual left and right images here I'm just using Adobe's two page uh, display but uh, as you can see the quality looks pretty good and it's a good representation of the original book okay let's come back out of that and uh, I think we might as well delete these as well um, let's get rid of those okay what I'll do now is we'll go and look at uh, scanning again but uh, what I'm going to do here is instead of using the double page option I'm just going to uh, use the original uh, photo mode so I'll use the thumbs again it helps me hold the pages flat and clicking at the bottom here so we're not doing any processing now we're just capturing them um, as as it looks on the camera so again if I do the capture and uh, the processing on this will be quicker now because we're not um, doing any curve correction or anything uh, as we're capturing so it's pretty much going to be able to keep up with me uh, as I do this so no curve splitting no curve correction okay there's the third one I've just taken and pretty much we can close that straight down and what we'll see here is uh, the images as as you just saw but in grayscale because we have the grayscale option set 
So if I select them all and go into the bulk settings, we have some batch processing here. So now I can tell it that these were curved pages and are double pages. Now it's doing the similar sort of processing um, as it was doing as we were capturing and splitting the pages individually. The only difference hit this time is, of course, we're doing it um, after we've captured all the pages. And the key difference is that this won't split the pages. It'll flatten the pages, it'll remove my thumbs, uh, but it will create a double page. So let's click on that. So there you go. So it's, re it's removed the background, it's cropped the pages, and uh, but they are, it's a single image, double page. Again, we can go into the correction here. Um, didn't like the look of that last one a little bit, so maybe it's this uh, finding the, the gutter, just a small adjustment there. And uh, before we commit that, we can just have a quick look at the preview. There you go. Yeah, that's much better. So we'll just now save that and it will apply it. Okay, there you go. Changing the colors here, uh, I'm doing it on the one image that we're working on. Um, but of course, if you've got them all selected, you can use the, uh, the batch process at the top there. So uh, where we can alter them so you could their color mode so if they're all selected it would convert them all into color or all into grayscale okay just for the final time i'll convert these to uh again a, a searchable pdf in that uh, bulk um option which, as I say, really should be renamed as batch. Uh, you can also select um, cropping. Um, you can also set um, uh, resizing um, pages. Uh, if you had a double page where you've got two images, again, you can set the boundaries and it will automatically crop left and right pages to the, to the new boundaries. So if you've got a decent white margin around the pages, you can come in slightly and crop the pages. This system is also works as a, a basically a presenter as well. So if you just want to be doing presentations, uh, it can be used that way. I'll just turn this off um, because we've got double page viewing, whereas now we really just need to show there's a single page. But again, very legible, if I just zoom in a little bit here. Pan around. And just grab a section of that and cut and paste it. Okay, I mean, pretty legible. I noticed on the very first line, instead of it saying off, it says all. But I think if I saw the image, it uh, it's hardly looks like an F. It looks more like an L. You'll see it in the background as I, as I close this down. Yeah, hardly uh, uh, an F. Okay. I think that concludes everything. Thank you very much.